welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr. Goff, from MrGoff.com. This video will focus on evaluating the effects of fiscal policy. In the previous video, we analysed the expected consequences from changes in fiscal policy. However, whether the government opts for a deficit or a surplus, they may also run into some unintended consequences. If the government reduces income taxes, the idea is that people will keep more of their income from work, and so more people will be incentivised to go into work or offer more hours of work. In reality, what might happen is that people find they can earn more in less time and may instead choose to reduce the amount of time they work while still earning the same amount. Lower income taxes means that households have more spending power and so we would expect higher demand. However, People might choose to save the extra money instead of spend it, especially if they're worried about the state of the economy. Alternately, people may spend their extra income on imported goods and services, worsening the balance of payments and reducing the benefits that the UK economy sees from this spending. The expectation with government spending is that as the government spends money, this raises demand and supply will rise to match, meaning greater output and therefore greater economic growth. What might happen is if supply is unable to rise to match demand, then this could cause demand pull inflation. This is most likely to happen when the economy is near full employment. When it comes to government fiscal policy, there is always an opportunity cost. If they wish to raise spending in one area, they must either cut spending in another area, raise taxes to generate more income, or increase debt. If the government, on the other hand, wants to reduce income taxes, they must either increase other taxes, reduce spending, or increase debt. So there's always going to be an opportunity cost and people will disagree about the best place that the government should spend their money for the most value to the economy. That brings us to the end of this video evaluating the effects of fiscal policy. In the next video, I'm going to be having a look at measures to redistribute income and wealth. Try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.